that experience and memorable personalities of our special guest we would like to seek your advice and like to pose a few questions that we believe your insights would greatly help us with if we have your permission now you can ask your questions please yes if you want to ask uh, the questions raise up your hand please go ahead khadija Uh, Mr. Syed Hassan, sir, uh, it's an honor to have the opportunity to pose a question today. Sir, I would like to ask, uh, what challenges have you encountered in managing both growth, grow with Syed and ISH staff's technical services simultaneously? And how do you balance your responsibilities effectively? Thank you very much. Uh, challenges are always, even if you don't, doing nothing then the challenges are there and if you are doing a lot of things the challenges are always there and uh, uh, what can i say i just try to wake up early in the morning and early two hours i give to grow with sayed early two hours almost from you can say 5 to 7 5 to 7:30 and rest of the day is for the ish and uh, in the weekends i just give two three hours more to grow with sayed gradually i am increasing both my ISH stars technical service, I gave almost three years consecutively. I made a system, I made operational model, I made my staff very well. Now they can tackle the clients. Now I am taking care for the group with Sayed. And this can happen. If you have set the priorities, then you can manage. Simply we have to set the priorities. Yes, sir. thank you so much, sir. Uh, yes, Anika. Uh, thank you so much, Harima, ma'am. Uh, I want to ask question to Sayed Hassan, sir. Uh, my question is that if I am setting any goal, how I set a time duration for that? Okay. Uh, first of all, you need to know what is your goal. You have to divide your goal in certain parts. For example, I just give you, my goal is that I am going to make grow with Sayyid an international company with coming five years. And I'm going to teach many of the people around the world. I have given target that I will be teaching almost 20 countries people. So I'm going to divide this in a such a way that today what I am going to do, which can take me somewhere. So if you have a goal, just divide it into parts and then allocate the time for that. For example, if you have a goal that you have to make a money and you have to travel outside the world and that amount is for example 2 million and uh, you have that duration for the two years so now divide it into years divide it into months divide into weeks divide into days make your goal so small so and then analyze after each month after each three months and then it will be easy for you any kind of goal and uh, i would like to suggest you uh, make some affirmations and you can take the good knowledge of affirmation from Dr. Halima Sage. She can tell you what is affirmation that will help you to make your goal well. Thank you so much, sir, for these golden so words. Sure. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. What is affirmation, Anika? Hmm? Do you remember Pisa? Yeah, the morning, six o'clock, every time. Morning, some... morning yeah. leader of the day. Leader of they the day. They all have done one month leadership course, and in that uh, leader to do affirmation early morning six o'clock, and there was a tough yeah. competition between them that who is going to be the first because the first person will be the leader of the day. So they used yeah. to compete with each other. Yes, yes, yes that's cool. That's cool. You have to mm -hmm. affirm yourself that what you want to achieve definitely then you will achieve. Yes. Yes. Next question. Yes, good evening, ma'am. Yes, good evening. Uh, yes, ma'am. I would like to ask the question to say this and sir. What are the most important attributes of successful leaders today, sir? Sorry, please come back again. What are the most important? What are the most important attributes of successful leaders today? Attributes. 
attributes. Uh, Dr. Halima, will you little bit elaborate this word attribute? What does yeah, it, actually, what, what are the she... qualities of a, of a quality system? Mm -hmm. What is the qualities? Um, all the qualities, which uh, you can see in the success, which I give you the recipe, simplest creativity, consistency, unshakable faith, surety, smartness, and the spirituality. Like these are the basic the qualities, and if you combine all them in a very good means, uh, most of the ladies are asking me the question. It's good to tell them that if you're going to make such a food, you have to keep the quantity of the salt, of the masala, of the uh, you can say the uh, what can say the chilies and the things even then that will give you the best taste. So these all the recipe of the success, if you have to apply them in a certain quantity, and then it will give you the beautiful flowers. So these are the simple qualities. And the most important, most important quality is the faith and the consistency. When you have these two qualities, the result will automatically come. Yes. Thank you for your wonderful answers, ma'am. Answers, sir. Thank you, sir. Most welcome. Most welcome. Question? Good evening, sir. I'm Gulshan, and uh, I also have a question to you. Sir, what impresses you the most when you are considering hiring someone? Okay, when you're going to hire someone for your organization and for your work, right? Yes, sir. The most important thing which you should you see in that employee, first of all, see attitude. The most important is uh, you can increase the skill, you can increase the information, you can give him such kind of a training that he can be a better person, whatever he's doing. But if his attitude is very well, then you are really blessed with such kind of a workers. I have almost uh, 13 people in my team in IAC Stars Technical Services, and definitely out of them, three or four people which we really trust which we can send to any client and we know that they will do nothing bad there because their attitude is very, very well with the client and attitude makes you different from the many other peoples. You are a good carpenter, you are a good painter, you are a good plumber. I like if you are a, sorry to say, very good teacher, but you're not behaving well with the students and with your colleagues and with your higher authorities, then definitely your impressions are not good. An attitude, many of the people think that only speaking is attitude. And I think um, Dr. Halima Sadia knows very well uh, it's difficult for me to speak in front of him. But attitude is basically a set of many things. It's not only just speaking. It is your behavior. It is your response in the situation. It is your, you can say, the reaction when something mishappens with you. And then at the end, definitely this is your speaking. And the most important... I forget uh, who was, I think, Sultana was saying, we should all have a perfect power of listening. If you have a good power of listening, definitely you will have a good attitude. Just one word for one of my ex-boss. His name was Mr. Shaheen. He just told me when I was very early days in UAE, he said me, Abbas, sunna seekh lo, to mein bolna kam padega. Now, if you can listen very well, then it will be difficult. Then it's easy. You will take care of things. The attitude should be the best when you are hiring some. Thank you, sir. Any other question? I also have a question to Sultana, ma'am. Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, my question is that how yes. do you integrate technology effectively into your teaching methods? Okay, thank you so much for the question. Um, well, as you know, we have uh, been through that phase where we have already conducted online classes consistently in uh, the whole world during COVID. So I think that's where uh, the relevancy or the importance of integrating technology with uh, teaching has become more significant. So uh, in my case, since I deal with small children, I try to give them a lot of hands-on activities, which would uh, manifest their five senses. Along with that, 
uh, I think uh, letting them, you know, get, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, adjusted with the technological aspects. Uh, we try to inculcate that also in the classroom, maybe through the smart boards and uh, through the computer labs. We take them, you know, once a week. So I think that way uh, it really helps the lesson planning and overall execution. Yes, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So I think uh, the questions are over, Khadija. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much, Syed Hazim sir and Sultana Yasmin ma'am for your wonderful and admirable replies. We satisfied a lot with your answers. Now, this is the time to show our gratitude. I request you, Dr. Helena Sadia ma'am, to deliver what up thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was really a wonderful session, whatever one, and, uh, one hour or one hour, 10 minutes we have spent together. I think it is worth spending. I, I must give the credit to Mr. Sayyid Hassan Sahab and uh, Ms. Uh, Sultana, uh, Yasmin, and Ms. Fiza Sheikh, and Ms. Anika, Ms. Khadija, Ms. Uh, Prema, Ms. Uh, uh, Mahatalat, Ms. Priya, and Ms. Mari, and Ms. Anika, and Ms. Gulshan. All of you have made this uh, program really a successful program. Before we conclude, let me announce a few things on behalf of EduFam International Academy. This academy is totally dedicated and devoted for the development of the people whomsoever they are. So this is one of the platform, Kalam the Talk. It is, this platform provides the opportunity to the speakers to, uh, to share their ideas and thoughts. If you are still willing to be the part of this, you please fill the form. Those who are on the live and watching this program, please fill the form and you can also be the part of this program. Secondly, uh, EduFam conducts lots of workshops and our upcoming workshop is the Team Leadership Challenge. This is one week Team Leadership Challenge where you will get the challenges in the morning and that all will be helping you to build the team and in the evening you will have a session on the team building. You will get the strategies, you will get the plan, you will get the uh, tips and activities because activities play a very important role. You have seen that when you are playing with the people, you are more closer with the people and you come to know many things about the people when you are simply playing with them. So playing really plays a very important role in team building so that one week leadership team building uh, course is uh, announced and that is going to start on 18th, 18th to 24th. So I request you all kind to be the part of this. There is, a, there is a very nominal fees that is affordable. It is not very high fees. And third announcement is, that EduFam is going to give the Iron Lady Award. Every year, EduFam gives the award to the Iron Ladies. So EduFam is going to give the award to the Iron Ladies. If you are unstoppable, if you are dedicated, hardworking, if you have, uh, you are unshakable, if you have achieved something that makes you uh, yourself proud of yourself, then you can nominate yourself and nomination is full free. There is no charge for the nomination and the program of award is going to happen on 8th March on the International Women's Day at, at uh, 7 p.m. IST. And there is no nomination fee for this, but only your confidence will take you there if you are confident that, yes, you deserve this, the Iron Lady Award. So thank you, everyone. Be connected with us and let us uh, move forward and let us make the people realize this best version because they have more potential than they think and they have more capabilities than they realize them. Thank you, everyone. Take care and good night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Thank Khadija you, and Prema, for your beautiful announcements. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank, you, ma ma Thank, Thank you, everyone. You, Thank good night. Thank you, ma'am. Have a great day. Great. Bye -bye. Thank you, everyone. So nice. Thank you. Thank you.